Hey guys, today we're making this circular text effect. Uh, there are actually two ways to get it done. Number one, using SVG text path, and the second one is the JavaScript one, which we are going to um, use today uh, because it uses maths, trigonometry, which is my personal favorite. Let's begin by clearing up the code so we can have a fresh start. I'm also going to be keeping a bit of boilerplate code just to make this tutorial look good on the screen. Okay, so it's an HTML. Um, here we have nothing, mostly nothing. Uh, we got an element that is um, that contains some text, and then we got some non-breaking space at the end. Let's remove it because it has some purpose, which I will explain later in the tutorial. Then um, now script, we can clear it all up, and then finally we go to. CSS. Here I have done in the body, I have just set height and width to the full size, margin to zero to remove scroll bar, and some positioning of the child elements so that it will be in the exact center of the screen. Then I'm using mono spaced font because later on, font size, color, like default font color, and no, I can remove that. It's not necessary. Yes. You can remove that, the color, and then I have background image, which is a gradient, then our circular text element. We can remove position relative because it has some functional purpose. We can also remove padding, border radius is just to make it look good, and then we can remove the last part. Okay, so now we have an almost fresh start, it's just flex is making that stretch out. Uh, moving back to our HTML, we have a single element, circular text, which contains some text. That's it for it. And now, as we're done with the HTML part, you can put any kind of text in it. But for this tutorial, I'm going to keep it to only Latin characters, the ones which are used in English. And now let's go to script.js. First of all, as we are going to make circles, let's define basic properties of the circle, which is a diameter and a radius. So let's do it. Constant radius is equals to, we are going for 100 pixels. So a constant diameter will be 2 times the radius. So radius times 2. Okay, that's it. Now, what we are going to do is set uh, the height and width of the element, the, our circular text element. So we are going to select the circular text element here. Constant circular text. Okay, so what do we name it? Let's name the element circle document dot query selector and we are going to put the ID here circular text which gives us the element now what we're going to do is set the height and width which will be equal to the diameters and it's going to be a square so let's put it right there um, circle dot style Y S T O I L E dot dot width is equal to pixels. So it goes with the height. Oh, there we get a little second. Oh, it's too small. Let's make it up to 200. Yeah. So now our circle is right there. Okay, so what we are going to do right now is we are going to select the text and we'll pick out each letter from it so that we'll be able to position them individually in a circle. So let's take out the text. So constant text is equal to circle dot inner text, which will give us the text. Now we'll um, convert it into characters, an array of characters. So we'll split it. Text dot split. Now we got that. Now what are we going to do is we're going to loop over all of these characters and uh, position them 
but first of all we need to clear our default text so let's wipe it out circle dot inner text is equals to null we set it to empty so now we have a blank canvas and some text characters in the memory so now let's loop over them so characters dot for each hmm so now we need to calculate the position and the angle. Okay, so what we're going to do now, first of all, we'll set our initial angle. So let angle is equal to zero. Then we are going to find the change in angle, so the difference of angle between two elements, the angular distance between two elements. So delta angle will be equal to 360, that is total angle in circle. Uh, divided total angle of the circle divided by the number of characters we have. So characters dot length. As we know that we cannot position just a text node, so we are going to be creating an element that will store our text, a single character. So constant uh, chop char element that is character element is equals to document dot create element and we are going to be using span here okay now we're going to put the character into the span 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 element char element dot inner text is equal to char okay now we'll append it directly into the circle so char circle dot append child and we have the char element let's turn it out so we got the same text over but differently now every single character is contained within its own element let's have a look as you can see everything is contained within its own just let me put it down um, in its own span element which makes it easier to position because you cannot position text nodes okay using CSS okay so what do we want now is we will set the elements uh, the span elements to position absolute so that they will overlap each other and then we'll be positioning them out mm, circular text uh, then we have a span to position absolute and now you'll see everything is like uh, overlapping each other so if we remove the border radius you will be able to see they are on the top right corner with a little um, space because of the line height so we can just ignore it for a while okay so we are setting the position to absolute because it will allow us to position them and it uh, and it will have a same coordinate like the same starting point which makes it a whole lot easier to position them now we'll I'm gonna reset the border uh, let's keep the border for a while um, let's remove the border for a while okay now we're here okay so what we're gonna do now is we're going to calculate X position and Y position uh, of a single span element and then we're going to assign them okay, let's take it to now drop something what happens okay so let's begin with the exposition what are we going to do here is we're going to uh, calculate first for a unit circle that's circle with radius of one and then we'll make it uh, compatible with our radius so first of all let's calculate the cosine value so math dot cos as you can see it accepts measurements in radian so we'll need a function that converts angles to radian so let's define it on top constant angle so uh, which will be equal to a function that accepts a number angle what we do is we, multi we multiply angle into pi divided by 180 and then we return it 
So we go there. So we do it angle to radian and we put it right there. So our angle. Okay, so as we are looping around, we also need to increment our angle. After each iteration will be equal to angle plus angle delta. Uh, so then now we are going to calculate the uh, y position value, that is the sine value. Now we have both of them. Now we are actually going to position our element. So constant transform string is equal to trans okay template rules translate expose and pixel and comma y pos in pixels okay now we are going to apply it on the element char element dot style dot transform is equal to transform okay you can see there is a slight change there but it's all being done for the unit circle so let's ramp it up to our radius so we what we're going to do is we simply going to multiply it with the value of our radius r a d i u s as you can see we got our circle right there but as you can also see the the center of the circle is way on the top left of the element so what we are going to do is we're going to move it by adding one more radius to the circle so the calculated value of the position so we can make it plus one plus radius da -da -da. so now we got the circle but the formula looks way off so I'm just gonna simplify it so okay let's beautify code a little So what we're going to do now is we're going to rotate each of the text, each of the character, little by little, uh, based upon their position in the string. So we create another variable, or oh, well, we can have an index right here, uh, and it will give us index. Okay, so we got index right there. So we are going to create another element, another variable, constant rotate, which is another transform property, transform function, sorry. So we're going to do it rotate, R-O-T-A-T-E. We're going to put deck right there, and now we'll calculate the value. So the formula is quite simple. What we are going to do is we are going to take the index and multiply it with a delta angle. So which will give us the angle at which the each element must be rotated so that it is legible. Uh, we're going to do, what do we have here? We have index into the delta angle. And now we're going to put it alongside the transform. Tuck. Okay. Okay, something is way off here. Okay, so this is quite skewed. Um, let me check. What is our initial angle? Okay, so our initial angle zero is right there. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is set the angle to minus degree to reset the quadrant, the initial angle. And there we have. Now it looks a bit. Now, so now we have a final step left, which is we need to bring this A inside our parent container element. So what is happening here is we are pushing the elements from the center, which is the reason why they are outside. So if we transform, if we change the origin of transformation, they will go back to their place. So we go back to the CSS and we set transform origin top left. There we have it. It neatly fits inside the circle. By the way, I forgot to set position relative to this, but you should always set it. It's important so that the position rel relative, like position absolute elements, won't wander off in the wild. Now we can finally enable a border radius. Ta da! -da!
we have final creature effect now we are going to add a bit of padding and we are done 10 pixel 20 pixel let's go for 20 pixels and we are done so we finally created it okay that's it for this video guys and i'll see you guys next time that's it i'll see you guys next time but before we go i have to tell you one thing we can also use the same method to create some arcs so if you do it 180 degrees we got an arc a nice arc you can rotate it and you can use it as a stamp and whatever you like or you can use this text to surround a circular phone i think it will look good okay bye i'll see you guys next time